Moved by Wendy Shuttock. Emergency. Okay. First thing, the most common turning it off would be for storage. So if you own your own plane or you rent a plane that doesn't fly very often, it sits for a few days, I would turn the, the gas off. Because if nothing else, the cost of fuel these days, if you leave the switch open and you get a leak somewhere in the system and you know, 80 gallons of gas goes draining out, that's, that's kind of a bad thing. Five dollars a gallon or six dollars a gallon, you lose a lot of money. Plus, it's a fire and an environmental hazard. So, for any kind of storage longer than a day or two, turn it off. Uh, emergency landing, particularly if it's off runway. So, if you're landing in a Vons parking lot, for example, it would be a good idea to turn the fuel off. And the biggest reason for that is when you land. If you bend the nose wheel, it'll snap the fuel line because the fuel line is connected to the motor mount and the nose wheel is connected to the motor mount. So if the nose wheel bends, it usually bends the motor mount, which can snap a fuel line, and you don't want raw gas running out of, out of the airplane once you get it on the ground. So uh, if the reason you're making an emergency landing is because you're out of gas, it's probably not a good thing. Then, of course, engine fire on board the airplane. You want to get the fuel valve off. Otherwise, leave it on. 